Hi everyone, welcome to your St. Mary's University course registration tutorial. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is log on to Self Service Banner, which you can access from the St. Mary's University homepage at smu.ca. We'll click Self Service Banner, and when that brings us to the new page, we'll click Enter Secure Area. To log in, you'll use your student number as your user ID, which you can find on your acceptance letter. It starts with an A. And your PIN the first time you log in is your date of birth in the format day, month, and year. For all new students, we do recommend opening a second tab to the St. Mary's University website, which is smu.ca. And this is where we're going to find first year required courses. To find this, you'll click the Academics tab at the top. You'll go to Planning and Registration, Register for Courses, and First Year Course Requirements. This will bring you to a list of first year course requirements broken down by program. So you can click the program that corresponds to what you're going to be studying here, and then that will give you your list of courses. Now that you know what classes you need to register for, we'll go back to that first tab to self-service banner, click Student, registration and look up classes. The first thing we need to do is choose a term. So we'll submit that. And for this example, I'm going to register for English 1205, which is a first year English course. So I'm going to look for English in this list. I will search. And now I'm given every single English class that's offered in this term. If you're wondering what year a certain course is, the first digit of the course number always corresponds to the year of course that it is. So English 1205, it starts with a one, it's a first year course. If you see a class number that starts with a two, it's a second year course, a three, a third year course, and a four, a fourth year course. So Introduction to Literature, it's at the top, English 1205, that's what I'm looking for. So I will click on View Sections. And it will bring up a list of all of the sections that this course is offered for. So this is all the information that you need when deciding what course you're going to actually register for or what section I should say you're going to register for. So you have the name of the class, the days that it's taking place, the time, how many seats are in that class, who will be teaching the course and where it's located. Right here, you will see that this class is happening Monday and Wednesdays from 10 to 11.15. This section is happening at that time. The M and W stands for Monday and Wednesday, so you know that this class is happening twice a week. T and R, that means Tuesday and Thursday. R is always Thursday. Um, so you will get to know that, especially as you move through Banner a little bit more. If you see only one letter, that means that that class is only happening once a week. So this one, it's only happening on Friday, but as you see, it's a little bit longer than if you were taking a class twice a week. Also something to note, if you scroll to the bottom, over here on the right-hand side, under attribute, you'll see web course. And this will only show up if a certain section of the course is not happening on campus and if it's happening online. So if you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more independent learning and you're looking to register for a web course, that's how you find out if a course is taking place online. So if I decide that this top section is the one that I want to register for, it fits best with my schedule, I will click select from the left hand side. I will scroll to the bottom and hit register. This will take me to my add or drop classes page. And here you'll actually see a list of all of the courses that you have successfully registered for. Now, if my registration was unsuccessful, I would get a web registration error here um, and it wouldn't let me register. So next, I would register for another class by going back up to registration, look up classes, and I would repeat the process. Now, once you've registered for all of your courses, you can view the full timetable, which is under week at a glance. You can find that at registration and week at a glance. And this will automatically take you to the current week of classes that you're in. 
However, for new students, it will show you the first week of classes that you're registered for. So we see that this is showing me the first week of classes in September. Now, if the first day of classes in a new semester is in the middle of the week, like this coming September, we're only going to be able to view the classes that are happening in that first half of the week. So in order to see what a full week of classes looks like for you, you'll want to, to click next week and it will bring you to the full week's view of classes. Back to registration, if you wanted to drop a class, you will go to add or drop classes and under current schedule, you will find the class that you're looking to drop, select web drop from the drop down menu, scroll to the bottom, and click Submit Changes. And there we go, we've successfully dropped that class. Now please note, if you decide not to join us here at St. Mary's, you must drop all of the classes that you've registered for, or else you will be financially accountable for paying for those classes. So make sure that if you do register for courses, if something happens and you aren't able to make it, um, just ensure that you do drop those classes to make sure you're all good in terms of your financial status here. So we'll go back to registration and I'll show you how to register for a class that has a lab component. So if you're taking a class that has a lab or a recitation, you will need to know how to register for those as well. We always recommend that students register for both semesters when registration opens. So I'll use the winter semester for an example this time around and we'll register for a class with a lab. So same thing as last time, I will go to look up classes. And when I go to select term, I'm gonna select the winter term this time, January to April, we'll submit that. And for this example, I'm going to use management 1281. So I will go down to management, bring up all the classes that are available. And I see it at the top 1281 introduction to business management. I will view those sections. And here we go. As you can see, the first two at the top are the lecture portions of the class. And I know this because on the right-hand side under attribute, it tells me that there is a lab required. So the first two at the top are just the lecture part of the class and all the other ones down here are the lab component. So in order to successfully register for this class, I will need to select a lecture component as well as a lab component, scroll to the bottom, and I'm going to click register. This again brings you to your add or drop classes page, and you're done. Once you uh, repeat the process back, registration and look up classes, you will be able to complete all of the classes that you need to register for. Super easy, that's how you do it. If you have any questions or concerns throughout the process, please feel free to send us an email, recruitment at smu.ca, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Happy registration.